What's up gang, welcome back for another episode of It's Always Sunny. As always, so happy to be here with you all. Looking forward to some more laughs and another great episode. I don't have too much to say coming into this one other than I'm just excited to get into two more episodes. Always a highlight of my week. I'm glad that a lot of you guys enjoy these as well. The quality has definitely been consistently high carrying over from season three, which I absolutely loved. And so I can't wait to see how they hopefully top that in this season based off a lot of your comments you guys say that this is like where the show really is starting to get to its peak comedy level but as always if you guys do enjoy this video definitely consider leaving a thumbs up always helps the video reach a lot more people helps the channel out appreciate your guys support you can always check out my full length reactions to this and all the other it's always sunny episodes i've done on my patreon the link for that being in the description below those are always uploaded before the youtube edits so you can see them there ahead of time as well and of course you'll need your own copy of the show to watch along with me there but without further ado let's just hop straight into episode five you are claiming that your father threatened to eat the living out of you uh, that is correct <laughs> Oh, here we go. We're jumping back to this plot. I knew this was going to come back into play at some point. He was going to, quote, eat your butt and his son's butt in the stink until his stomach was full of your butts. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this man's a freaking wild animal. He will stop at nothing to get back at him. I do not want to hurt them. I want to get as far away from those two as I possibly can. Objection! That's objection, Your Honor! Hey! He's hey. Oh my gosh, these guys do not know how a courtroom works. They're definitely looking like the crazy people in this part. Not gonna accept our apology? Okay, fine. We're gonna bury you. I'm gonna tell those pro board dickheads that you said you're gonna rape my Oh my gosh, they've been freaking caught red-handed. I love that they waited to reveal that. Really gonna sell it. <laughs> oh, so extreme. He's released and immediately the title <laughs> says they're gonna die. I would be freaking scared if I was those two though. Not only did they get him in prison in the first place, but they tried to still screw him over even after they already did that. That was a fantastic opening scene though. That's <laughs> definitely one of the funniest opening scenes I think they've done recently. Running away is not the answer. Mac, we're gonna need supplies on the road, okay? So just calm down, help me throw some stuff into the stick and bindle. How do hobos fit all their stuff into a bandana? <laughs> It's not as easy being a hobo as it looks. Charlie freaks out over every little thing. Fake our own death, thinks we're dead, uh, and he leaves us alone. Yeah, right! We gotta do it in some way that's convincing, all right? I feel like they're gonna somehow screw this up, man. They're gonna just think way too hard about it. Maybe some explosion? Of course there's gonna be an explosion! You okay, think I'm not gonna explode? I'm thinking, Charlie, <laughs> it would be some kind of blaze of glory. Of course it's gonna be a blaze yes. of glory! I'm all going right, down right now! This man is ready to go. He's way too amped about this situation. There's a hole in the wall. We're just trying to figure out what it is. Well, 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 Deandra, would you look at that? <laughs> Why did he switch to that tone of voice right there? You two have discovered today is what is most commonly referred to as a glory hole. Oh, jeez. This bar bathroom is basically just a constant crime scene. There's nothing that doesn't happen here, man. Why wouldn't you want to have sex with someone you can't see? It's very European. You see, Europe leads the way in sexual exploration, and quite frankly, I think it's time we caught up. <laughs> Dennis is the freaking expert about everything. I don't know how he knows all he does. Just picture a girl and then... It's a dangerous game you're playing, Frank. Supposing the other guy is picturing a girl also. How's he gonna do that with a dick in his mouth? That's his problem. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I don't know, man. Frank brings up a few good points. I like how somehow they tried to find the positives in that situation, though. Uh -oh. That just kind of came out on its own. Yeah, that slipped right out. Huh? I barely pulled that. <gasps> what? Damn, dude. That's another... You should really brush your teeth more. What the heck is wrong with this man? Is he just playing a prank on him or something? Or did he somehow not lose his baby teeth? Charlie, open up. We got a dick hole in the bar. Is this car outside? Uh... Yes! We'll steal it, we'll use it as a part of Blaze of Glory. Oh. Okay, Charlie, now you gotta stop. You really gotta stop. <laughs> oh my gosh. This dude is just straight decaying in front of us. Hey, what the? Okay, go, 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 go! They could have easily just climbed out the window. I love how extra Charlie is. <laughs> 
just go straight back to it. Oh, this man's so freaking hilarious, dude. I can't wait to see what they're planning right now. Somehow I feel like they're actually going to almost kill themselves. Gun this car as fast as it goes directly into that wall. We jump out to safety. The car explodes in a hot ball of fury. We're dead to the world. Good luck with that. We need to do it together. That's not really doing anything. I mean, I'm with Charlie on this one. No reason he needs to be in there. I feel like Max not going to be able to get out in time. It's going to be some final destination stuff. <laughs> oh my gosh, they actually did that in camera. That's amazing. I was going too fast. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Yo, that was freaking brilliant, man. I had no idea that we were actually going to see that happen from start to finish. And Charlie's reaction was perfect. I say something and then you like forget it two seconds later. Are you sure you're all right? I feel like $1 million. Find something to blow up a car. Oh, look at that wedding dress, dude. Okay, that is not gonna blow a car. <laughs> Oh no, Matt got some serious damage from that. And I'd already been questioning how his brain works a little bit already. We're not buying the wedding dress. We can't just leave it here. We absolutely can leave it here. It's not going to help crazy, us in any way, Charlie. shape, or form. That's crazy. Bro, okay. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Mac just sees a hot item and can't let it go. We are in desperate need of something that will destroy a car, annihilate any traces of a human being. Let me see what I got. <laughs> <laughs> Dude just acts like he hears that all the time. Well, this is an interesting turn. I'm assuming this is a live grenade, yes? Oh, yeah. Well, then we'll take it. Oh, gosh, man. Mac and Charlie with the live grenade is bad news. This is gonna just turn into a mess. Today's the day. You got any plans for the outside? Yeah. I got some plans. I got some big plans. <laughs> My gosh, this dude is straight super villain. Man looking like Uncle Iroh in Avatar The Last Airbender. I understand the plan, except for when we find the bride. Don't even start, man. That's a very important talking part of my way plan. Too long. I love that they did get the wedding dress. That's amazing. No reason to let it go to waste in there. <gasps> go, move, oh, go, 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 go. Oh. This is going to be awesome, it's dude. It's going to be huge. <laughs> <laughs> My, that did nothing. Did he sell him like a dud? Plan B. Gun, gas tank. Oh, 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 dude, get a lot closer. Closer? Oh, Mac is just gonna get injured again if he does that. Dude's already been through enough. Go! Grenades and bullets don't right, dude, new plan. The teeth, the envelope, the crash, I think it's enough. Who knew that it would be so difficult for him to blow up a car? I like how they're just obliterating D's car as well. This is it. I'm starting to have second thoughts about this sex party Why thing. Why are Frank. they dressed? Oh my gosh. Now they're just getting carried away with this idea. I mean, Dennis did say he wanted to jump on the European bandwagon. What I'm having a hard time believing, though, is that there is an elite secret sex society behind that door. These people are the most powerful, influential, sexiest people in Philadelphia. Oh gosh, I can't wait to see with the reveal after that line. I feel like they're gonna be mad disappointed. What is the password? <laughs> oh no. Orgy. You may enter. <laughs> Oh gosh, this does not look like the crew that at least Dennis is hoping for. And it looks like it's 90% dudes in there. How is this even an orgy? Nobody's having sex. It's like a half nude buffet party. It's not exactly what I thought it was going to be either, but it's okay. There's a lot of food. Hey, I don't know, man. That sounds like a rip roaring good time right there. No venture is a fail if there's free food involved. I'd like to have some anonymous sex, please. I wait for the signal back. If it's a lady's foot, I'm in the clear. A man can wear a woman's shoe. I mean, that's why we need the viewing slot. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's like a freaking confessional. I love how much they're running with this right now. Mac and Charlie are dead. Okay, you got the camera? Yeah, is that ready? Yeah, I think we got it. We on? Charlie and I had a suicide pact, and I have to honor that. There's oh, also a will enclosed, and you totally have to do all of that. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. I did not expect them to actually tell the rest of the gang that they died in this situation. I can't believe they're dead. I can't believe they didn't include me in their suicide pact. <laughs> Hilarious responses. Dennis is always just wanting to be involved. My man wanted to die with them. Have to name our firstborn child Murphy because that was Robocop. God damn it, Mac is dead and he's still bossing me around. <laughs> 
Oh my gosh. I love how they're so accepting of this. Jesus, man, they must be really broken up. <laughs> oh my gosh. They're hiding out on the roof of the bar. Not exactly very stealthy. No, stop it. Don't do it. Oh my God. How? How is that possible? I don't know. Dude's pulled out like five teeth now. <laughs> What is happening to him? I like how they're not even paying much attention to that. It's just happening. You forced me to do something drastic. Something I was hoping I would never have to do. No way, what? It just ends, thank goodness this is in one of my little two episode groups. There would be no way that I was gonna wait a week before watching the next one. I'm so glad we get another two parter though, that's awesome. Max dad is coming for revenge like freaking John Wick. I would be freaking scared if I was those two. That episode was hilarious though. The whole car crashing and exploding scenario was just so well done. Somehow, I have been lucky enough for the two two-parters now in the show to have come when I'm watching two episodes at a time, but I'm super excited to get straight into the next one after this because it seems like it's gonna be insane the way that Max Dad's narration was there at the end. I don't think he's gonna hold back, although they could subvert my expectations again this time as they did the first time, and I also imagine that Charlie and Max aren't gonna chill on the roof for very long it's not like they have endless supplies to hide out and I'm not even sure what their end goal is if it's just to disappear from society and leave everybody thinking they're dead forever or what their next move is it's a fantastically done plot so far really enjoying it and I love how this show always will throw in little jokes that would be like pretty major comedic elements in other stuff but because it's surrounded by so much else that's good it's just a really nice extra touch like charlie pulling out his teeth throughout the whole episode and they haven't really even discussed why it's happening i assume it's based off what mac told him about brushing his teeth maybe his hygiene is just horrendous and it's a natural occurrence but either way can't wait to get into the next one hopefully you guys enjoyed watching along with me for this episode if you enjoyed the video definitely consider leaving a thumbs up always helps the video reach a lot more people helps the channel out appreciate your guys support you can check out my full-length reaction to this episode and the next episode which will already be up on my patreon the link for that is in the description below and i look forward to seeing you all for the next one and until then peace